Alright, I guess we'll start with this guy. How's it going this morning? Oh, there we go. Now we're live. Good morning. It's happening. This is Captain. He's a black pewter 100% het for clown. And hopefully he's going to be a first time dad coming up here. You're having a good morning. He's such a good boy. His name is Captain, and he's, again, he's a black pewter, 100% hep for clown, also known as a black pastel. But he's got wicked, wicked unique pattern. Well, thanks for joining me this morning. Looks like it could be just you and I. Let's see if they want to mingle. Sticking back in there with Lepra. What you doing, buddy? And this guy, I just took him out. I think they locked last night. This guy. Blaze. He's my albino Enchi. 100% hep for clown. He's really pretty. Hopefully you can see the pattern. Got an inchy pattern in him. He's really a pretty snake. Good morning. What's up, M. Dale? I'm glad you showed up. <laughs> we got a non talker in here. <laughs> Not, you probably can't talk today either. But at least I know who's in here. My uh, leopard pastel female last night fucking wouldn't take food. 
and she's one that's never refused the whole time I've had her. So, working the dream. I was here yesterday most of the time. I heard from Julia this morning. Again, uh, her mom passed away. That's why Julia hasn't been in. So, that's what's going on with Julia anyway. But yeah, Leopard didn't eat last night, which is weird for her. Yes, it is too bad. Yeah, I talked to her about half an hour this morning on the phone. And she called me, let me know what was going on. And so, but yeah, I'm hoping we'll see if fucking Leopard was just full of what the fuck's going on with her. But hopefully, fucking, it's a good sign. No, I mean, what the chances of me hitting it perfect, fucking, I slim to none, but who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll get lucky and it took, you know, she's looking fucking large. So isn't feisty yesterday? Did you see feisty fucking almost fucking get me in the face? She never does that either. That's it's the only time she's ever acted like that was when. I bet when I was pairing her the last time, you know, and she's never acted like that. I've been feeding her every seven days, too. So, you know what I mean? And for Feisty to act like that yesterday, fucking come right out of her tub like that, you know. Not saying that she's pregnant, but it's, you know, it's all shit that I saw from my females the last time when, when I was pairing. You know what I mean? So... Not saying for sure. I know it's not. There's nothing for sure. Oh. Yeah, she fucking come right out at me. Man, and I, it was fucking close too. I mean, close. Wicked close. And she's not even supposed to eat till... Christ fucking, she's not even supposed to eat till Saturday. She just ate Saturday when that happened to me yesterday. You know what I mean? Fucking three days later. I mean, fucking. And I mean, I've been feeding her every seven days for the last three weeks, four weeks. You know, so for her to act like that is just kind of weird. It's weird for her. She never acts like that. She's normally super docile. I don't have any snakes that come flying out like that. Other than when I fucking pair them. Honestly. You know. But it's nice to see. You know. I like seeing it. Like you said, I don't take it as it, as it's an, a guarantee, but it definitely, what's up, happy dragon, but it's definitely a point in the right direction, you know, it's definitely pointing towards fucking, you know, things could be happening as opposed to things not happening, and you saw fucking Lepra put on fucking almost 300 grams. Fucking since last, it, and she just shed on the seventh of last month, and I weighed her yesterday, and she put on almost fucking three hundred grams. Ah, uh, well that sucks. But hopefully, hopefully, buddy, fucking when good weather fucking happens, I don't know, I don't remember where the hell you're at, where you're from, so you might actually have. Good weather year round. Thank you. She was a freebie. Somebody just getting out of the out of the hobby. Man, Dale, have you seen how much New York City? Oh yes, you're another close one. So yeah, so you're fucking starting to get the fucking warm weather too. What was it there yesterday? We got over sixty-five here yesterday. 
Fuck yeah, and it was beautiful. Fucking sunny. Wasn't overcast. It was, it was gorgeous here yesterday. It's going to be gorgeous again here today. It's going to be almost 60 today. Which for here, you know, I'm in Maine. Uh, I'm fucking 35 minutes north of Augusta. Oh, North Carolina. Got ya. Yeah, North Carolina, you got fucking warm weather all the time. I had an aunt that lived in North Carolina. She said when she fucking, when you guys get snow, you get like six inches, but it's melted by the end of the day. I had 65 in the money. On in on the money the one time I checked. <laughs> yeah, I saw sixty five yesterday. West Virginia. Oh, West Virginia's hot and dry. Any anything Virginia. You get cold. <laughs> yeah, well you don't get very cold in in fucking North Carolina. Fuck you guys, you, you, I know, when you get 60 degrees there, you guys all put fucking winter coats on. <laughs> We're just starting to run, walk, run around in t-shirts. Yeah, compared to me, yeah, without, but, I mean, our winters are fucking cold. I mean, we, we get wicked cold winters. But we have nice, nice summers, but it's humid here. It, which is weird, too, because I'm nowhere near, you know, I have to drive, what, a couple miles to get to the coast from my house. And it's fucked up because it's still wicked humid here, you know. And we do, we, we hit 100, you know, every once in a while in the summertime here sometimes. Or real damn close to it. Fuck it, I don't like to go outside when it's fucking 90 degrees out. I won't even, I won't ride my car, I won't ride my bike if it's fucking 85 or over. Because it's just too fucking hot. Even in the fucking sun, I mean, even in the shade, it's just, it's too fucking hot. You know? Fucking heat kills me. The older I get, the fucking heat kills me. I can't fucking, I can't do heat. I can do the cold a lot better than I can the heat because you can always put more shit on, but you can only take so much shit off and still be fucking hot. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking, it's horrible. It's horrible, honestly. That is the one thing that I really, I don't like. I like our springs and I like our falls, but the fucking middle of the summer... It's just too fucking hot, you know. That's why, I mean, Florida would be great if it wasn't so fucking hot in the summertime. I don't want to be feeling like I had to be stuck inside where it's AC either. You know what I mean? And I'm not much on fucking going to the beach and shit. Fucking, that just really doesn't do much for me. Florida's great, you know, in February. <laughs> you know, January to, to, you know, March, you know, Florida's fucking great, but that's only fucking those few months. And then you got the rest of it, you have, you know, that's why I've got a friend of mine that, that lives 10 minutes, has a, has a summer home and has for probably 15 years now down in Florida, about 10 minutes off from uh, Daytona Beach. And uh, he goes down there in the wintertime when fucking about November, September, November, he leaves Maine and goes to Florida. And it's beautiful. It's perfect weather. It's like our springtime, you know, early fall fucking here in Florida then. You know, and, and they he and his wife love it down there. But come fucking March, end of March, beginning of April, they're on they're ready to come home because now it's already 85, 90 degrees down there. You know, which is awesome to a lot of people. Would be to me if I was a lot younger. But I'm just too I'm too fucking old for that fucking heat. 
Yeah, it's way too hot, dude. Again, I honestly, if, you know, 80, uh, 68 to 80 is like my perf, would be like perfect. I could do whatever I want and still fucking feel like I have a summer, you know, be able to enjoy myself when I go outside, fucking, you know, 68 to 80 degrees. I don't necessarily want 80 fucking degrees, though, if I got to go build a deck. Or, oh, I mow my fucking lawn at like 6.30 in the fucking morning. I'm that asshole neighbor that 6.30 in the morning, I'm out here fucking push mowing my lawn because it's too fucking hot. I feel like I'm going to have a fucking heart attack if it's fucking 85 out there trying to fucking run my lawn more. And a lot of it's due to my own fucking fault because I like the AC. You know, you get acclimated to AC, you go outside, fucking 80 and above, fucking feels like you're going to fucking lose your life. <laughs> when I try to stay in 68 to 70. Dale, how you handle the heat? I don't ever hear Dale ever complain about the heat. One second, I'll be right back. Yeah, I've heard that before. No, I'm just kidding. But I have heard that before and nobody comes back. But hey, if I don't see you again, have a good day. <laughs> oh. We'll let the normal girl come out. <laughs> Ah, yeah. oh, Dale, I hope you're having a good day. Holy fuck, dude. Yeah, I can't. I could, oh my God. <laughs> I'm hot just thinking about that. I mean, Jesus Christ. I hate sweating. Because I sweat like profusely. I sweat like a fucking pill head. I really do. Fucking, to the point, I mean, it just runs off me and... It burns my eyes, and I put on a fucking head bandana, and that thing is, like, soaking, and it's that will even start dripping. Fucking, I just, I fucking hate being all nasty, sweaty feeling. Come here, girl. Oh. Somebody's looking like they're trying to get out. Oh! Oh! Fucking, they, I put, paired them together la about a week ago. The Leopard uh, Pastel fucking hat clown. I tried pairing them a fucking about a week ago and they fucking didn't lock. And it was during the fucking, you know, the bullshit weather. So I don't know what's going on. Maybe fucking she took to, but she also stopped eating. No, she didn't take, well, she didn't eat that one meal so far. But we'll see. I'm hoping. I'm going to give her a week, and I'm going to try to offer her food next week. And might have been just warm. It was more, a lot warmer in here than it had been. I mean, Christ, it got 85 degrees in here yesterday. You know, and now it's back down to, like, normal, normal temps, you know, 73 degrees. So that might have had something to do with it, but everybody else ate. You know what I mean? So I don't know if that should have necessarily affected her. I Well, I hope so. I, I hope to get eggs for, out of somebody. You know what I mean? From so, somebody. But we'll see. They're gaining fucking weight. You know, they're gaining weight fast. Way faster than normal. You know, granted, yes, I am feeding them every week, but still, fucking, to gain, you know, almost 300 grams, you know, and it hasn't, it's just been a month since the last time fucking Lepra was weighed. And I can't even do math. Fucking Phoenix is only a year old, and the fucking other ones are about a year, just, over like a year and a half, something like that. Hi, girl. You know, so. 
Oh, fucking! I couldn't think yesterday for some reason. Okay, um, come here, girl. Come here. Yeah. This girl's got a shit. <laughs> this girl's got a shit. So she must. She's probably got a shed coming up here. Coming up. Because I can tell this girl needs to shit. Hey, Deal, how many snakes you ever had shit on you? I haven't been shit or pissed on yet. You know? This girl did did pee on my granddaughter, though, when my granddaughter was holding her. I don't know what the fuck, dude. I'm telling you right now. And I'm not, yeah, I'm not no mathematician, but I mean, I fucking, I can do fucking simple math. And I mean, that was simple math yesterday. And I told fucking when my wife came home and I fucking was talking to my wife and my wife fucking was like, no. Yeah. Yeah, Boas, I think more fucking, I think Boas shitting and peeing on people is more common honestly than than ball pythons but i have heard a lot of people that have gotten you know pissed or shit on by their snakes which i just thought that was weird but my granddaughter did get peed on from cleo this girl you know and i don't know if that has anything to do with like mark and territory or i mean most of the time to me when I think of something like that, I would think that, you know, like, a, it's kind of like a muskin. You know, they would do that if they're not necessarily comfortable. Not, they don't, I wouldn't think that they'd shit or piss on you because, you know, to mock you as territory, I don't think. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe I should be upset that I haven't been shit and pissed on. <laughs> You can see this swell me at all and put them back often if they are close. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hear you. I don't really fucking, I've never watched for it. My granddaughter fucking, when she was older, she goes, I think she peed on me. And we were like, no, no, she didn't. And she goes, I'm telling you, it feels wet. <laughs> And we picked the snake up in Shore and Chip. There was that, you know, pea pod fucking or whatever you want to call it. The pea rock. And then fucking she was wet. And you could smell it. She definitely had peed on her. <laughs> but, but I've never been peed on yet. You know. I just always took it as fucking the people that got peed on. The snakes did it most likely because the snakes weren't that comfortable. And they figure, oh, let's see if we pee on them if they put us back. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the way I, you know, the way I think of it. This girl is such a sweetheart. These fucking normals, I'm telling you. Fucking something about these normals. Because even that other girl, that other normal girl that I got, she is such a sweetheart. And like I said, when you hold, when you hold her, fuck it, and she like snuggles right in. You can tell. She's like hugs the, the, around you. It's weird. You know? But it is. It's like she's fucking cuddling. You know? I take it maybe she's saying thank you because... You see the cheesy ass fucking latches that's got? It's got just those plastic, you know, the just the fucking plastic fucking duo, the over the fucking sides. And they're not even as nice as this. You know what I mean? I'm talking about the little fucking plastic ones that go up over. And that's all that's holding her in there. She ain't even tried to come out of that fucking tub. You know what I mean? When they're fucking happy and secure in what they want, I, I don't think they fucking try to get out. 
Because she has not one time tried to get out of that. And I'm telling you right now, she could push because of those latches are so chintzy. She could easily push the middle of that tub up to get out. But she ain't even tried to get out. Brandy is so good, but she's loving it because she's actually got the right humidity and moisture and heat and all that. Christ, she's eating four meals for me. She's only been here like a month, three meals. She's eating three medium rats for me already, and they said, oh, she eats once, once a month every two months. Fucking, she, she ain't even been here a month, and she's already eaten three meals here and had a perfect shed. She just shed like, well, she shed the night I fed her. And she fed during the, she shed in the middle of the day. Most of my snakes always shed like fucking, you know, first thing in the morning or, or late at night. And Brandy fucking shed right in the middle of the fucking day. I actually caught her shedding and I thought it was weird because it was, you know, one of them times that I was just checking on her to see how she was doing. Well, it's just you and me, deal. We got a non-talker in here. But they're hanging out, so I guess I should be thankful. Thank you for hanging out, at least. Hey, whoever you are, how about give me a thumbs up? You can at least do that. They might not be able to even chat. It, it might not be letting them. It's why I'm Filipinos. Oh, so how have you been, Dale? You've been quiet. I haven't heard from you. How much snow do you get out of that last snowstorm, you figure? I figure we got probably, I don't know, close to a foot, probably. You know, heavy fucking snow, though. You know, I went out, and, and I'm glad, I'm thankful that I did. I went out and fucking snow blowed first thing in the morning. And I knew it was going to keep going, but we had already gotten like five or six inches when I went out and snow blowed the first time in the morning, first thing, like seven o'clock. And by the fucking later in the day when we got all the other snow, there was no way I could snow blow it. It was so fucking wet because it was already warm. Yeah. It's pretty much all gone here too, Dale. Other than what I shoveled off the roof, you know, and what's piled up right along the fucking trailer. You know, that's the only snow I got. It's all gone everywhere else. Fucking around in my yard, fucking, which is awesome. Because I'll tell I'll be fucking first in a minute. I'll start to get fucking a little fucking depressed. Fucking sick of fucking... You know, seeing gray, white and gray. No, it didn't help, and it brought the fucking river up. And no, and that's the worst part about it. It's, there's still snow up country too, so you know, a lot of lot of streams and a lot of rivers are gonna fucking still come up, fucking for a little bit. But it shouldn't be long, though. We got a couple 46 degree days coming up after today, but then it's all low 50s to, you know, mid 50s, which fucking, I'll, ta I'll, I'll take it all day long, and I just soon get a bunch of rain. I know, I'm sorry. It, it doesn't help you, but it helps me in getting all the fucking calcium and salt off the fucking roads to where I actually feel like I can get my fucking bike out. Yeah, we got a bunch of rain coming. Yeah, for like fucking like four days in a row of it, I'm pretty sure. And then we got like a couple days of non-rain, and then it's going to fucking rain again. So, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, I stuck Blaze and, and Feisty together last night, and Blaze was fucking all wanting to mate with her because he had his tail all curled up fucking next to hers, but they never actually locked, or at least what I saw. 
Now, I'm hoping, I'm hoping maybe Lepra will walk again. If she don't walk, look at that. She won't even let him in. She won't even let him in. I'm going to have to take her hide off of. Look, she's coiled right up so he can't get in there to her hide, so. You ain't hiding. You guys are you guys are gonna do it till she is getting she is getting big though. I'm telling you, I fucking would love to think that I got lucky, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, she fucking she would cold up so he couldn't even get in there. <laughs> fucking couldn't even get under her eye. I sometimes leave the hide in, sometimes I don't. You know what I mean? Fucking. But obviously, if she's gonna act like that, I better take the hide out of. They could, she, you know, nothing could happen all day. But he wants it. Oh, yeah, he does. He wants it. I gotta stop playing some, uh, what, what's that, Let's Get It On, gotta play that song, Let's Get It On in here. <laughs> I do it when I'm pairing my snakes, see if it helps, the gentle vibration of the tub from the music. <laughs> hey, I might be on to something. I might be on to something. See her head. See how good she is? I'm really hoping by always doing that since they've been babies and shit. I'm really hoping that... Let go of your tub. Come on. I'm really hoping that fucking when she gets big fucking it won't even matter. I love this girl. I don't know. I'm telling you, if I can't fucking get rid of the fucking three snakes, the three babies I got now, I'm I'm fucking not gonna pair again. And it sucks because I want to get rid of. I need to get rid of those three. And I fucking I'm starting to think that I could be waiting for fucking ever, and you know. And I've got a couple other females fucking that I'm that I could possibly get snakes from. So I'm almost tempted to go and if I can find somebody to take these other three, you know, fucking I'll just give fucking Julia a really good deal on fucking one of the other fucking, you know, one of the other clutches if I get one. Because if I don't get any more, if I don't get any eggs out of these two females, I'll I'll probably pair again, you know, like you said, fucking October or towards the fucking winter, you know, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Well, no, I know, but she said this morning she still wants those two, but it sounds like it could still be a month or two, you know what I mean, before she's even ready. So, I I don't really want to hang on to those snakes for fucking two more months, fucking if I got an opportunity to get rid of them now, and I just fucking get, like I said, I just give her a good deal on fucking another baby fucking or a couple other babies when when the time comes because you know and honestly fucking chances are those will be a, a nicer you know nicer fucking more snakes fucking for her than just the clown 66 percent half for pie you know male and female that's all they are is just 66 and they you know and that's if they're actually good. No, I know. It sounds good to me, too. 
But I mentioned to her, I said I got a couple other females this morning, and I, I should have just said, look, why don't you let me go ahead and sell these two, and if, you know, if and when I get another clutch, because she's not ready anyway. She doesn't have a rack. She doesn't have, you know, which she doesn't need a rack, but she wants to build a rack before she gets them and all that, and she doesn't have that done either, so what are you doing? You can't be so comfortable, girl, that you don't hang on. This... <laughs> She's such a wanker. She is. She acts like such a wanker sometimes. But she's always a good girl, though. <laughs> she just acts like a fucking... She kind of throws tantrums sometimes, I swear to God. What are you doing? Get off my hand. Get off my hand. <laughs> She's getting ready to go into shed again, too. Plus, she just ate. She, had, she ate, what, Saturday? She ate Saturday, so she ain't digested her food yet, either, because she hasn't peed yet. Come on, girl. Don't act out. Be good. But she likes to throw temper tantrum sometimes, like throws her fucking self around and shit. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Neil. I know you do. I know you. that's something you've seen before, too. Fucking them just fucking... Oh. Oh, I guess that's just a piece of a mouse. Something. But yeah, she'll, she'll throw herself around some, sometimes, throw a tantrum. -tantrum. That's tantrum so it reminds me of. Where she, like, doesn't hang on, and she'll just act like, f f yeah, flailing around, exactly. Well, she, fucking, she... The, she's done it honestly fucking that little bitch has done that since i've gotten her and it's not every time she's out it's just you know she always comes out good so you don't actually get any vibe from her whether she's into it or not you know what i mean that's the fucked up part about it she always is the same way you just saw when i took her out she's the same way always she never runs away she never picks her head up like, oh, is it food like Raven does? You know what I mean? She, she always acts so chill. It's not till you get her out that you find out whether, oh, she really don't want to be out. Because when she's flailing around, I mean, that's what she's fucking telling me. Because literally, I have to, I have to hold her. Because she'll flail to the point where she'll fall on the fucking floor. She doesn't know because she's never hit the floor yet so she hasn't learned the lesson that oh if i'm not paying attention you keep fucking doing that one of these times you're gonna fucking end up on the floor and it's gonna be her fault you know because it's not something i'm doing to her but and then she'll still fight me going back you know going back to her fucking tub she'll still fight fucking going back there and it's not that she doesn't want to be in there it's just she doesn't want to do whatever the fuck I want her to do. I don't want, I want her to be out. She don't want to be out. I want to put her back. I don't want to be put back. Fuck yeah. Goddamn snakes. Is Raven. This girl is starting to really look good. I thought she looked good before, but and that's more natural light in here. I brought uh, another set of lights and trying to give the more realistic 
colors. Oh, don't be flailing. Don't be flailing. I feel that tail coming over. Let me adjust this fucking light here. There we go. It still just doesn't, it doesn't still pick that purple up really, does it? Maybe a little bit there. She is so purple on her side, though. And her tail is just gorgeous. Tail. You are such a pretty girl. She is a pretty girl. For sure. And she has a pretty good attitude, honestly. Considering. Uh, she almost, she acted like she was coming out to me this morning, which was has been the first time that she's ever done that. Normally, fucking, she, you know, she, all my other boas, have come out to me, you know, to be held or whatever. She's the only one so, so far that hasn't actually come out to me and like come right to me. All my other ones have, you know, not, they don't do it all the time, but you know, a lot of times when they need to be changed though, they need to be cleaned. I open up the tub and they'll come right to me. Fuck it. The bow, the bow is you know, balls are the same way, but the bow is fucking, that's normally when they'll come to me or sometimes in the morning, you know, when I'm checking on them. But this morning was the first time she actually was coming out to me and I actually bellied up to her because I'm not putting my arms in front of her. But I go walk right up with my stomach and then she went and she came out and she was tonguing at my stomach and I think what she was doing is just seeing if i was you know if i was food or not because it, as soon as fucking she come up and started smelling me she fucking backed off and started going back back inside hey is it froze up on your end because it's froze up on my tv see the lives froze are you guys still is it still sh playing for you guys is it still going Oh, there it goes. Okay, here. All right, yeah. Yeah, I was froze up on my TV, though. It does that every once in a while. My TV will freeze, or sometimes it goes right to static. And then fucking, you give it, I don't know, you know, sometimes a couple minutes, and then all of a sudden it comes back on. Oh, my old technology deal. <laughs> Fucking running the old technology. How's it going? Good morning. We got Raven out this morning, right now. It's Stone Age. That's really not. That TV's, I mean, yeah, it's old, but it's not that old. I mean, it's got HDMI ports, but they're fucking broke. They, they fucking shorted out or something. So I don't get it. It don't come in HD. You know what I mean? It's I'm got it on the fucking Stone Age fucking. Oh, they left. They popped in. And they left. But somebody's been right here hanging out with us, Dale. They were the first ones in here this morning, but they don't want to say hi. bastards <laughs> yeah my lives of my lives have dropped right off i don't get shit i don't get jack shit for views honestly fucking friday morning and friday afternoons seem to be my best lives but i'm not gonna have i'm not gonna fucking have time and nor am i gonna want to fucking stay home to do a live you know what I mean? On on a fucking Friday. 
If it's good weather, I want to be riding my bike. I fucking just fucking was cooped up all fucking winter. You know, winter times when I'll get fucking do all the lives and shit when I'm home and there's nothing going on. I don't want to fucking do all that shit. She's fucking got my thumb. Oh, come on, girl. She's bending it backwards. <laughs> Fuck it, bitch. Ah, uh, yeah. She's being ruthless. Can you see the purples? You can see the fucking purples now. She is cleaned up wicked too. Fucking her in in this pad in here was like wicked busy. Like clustered. You know. And it's it's starting to clean up. In her saddle, she had absolutely no peaks whatsoever. I mean no peaks. Like, not even, like, nubs. It was weird. And she's actually starting to get peaks in her saddles. Which is stuff I didn't realize, you know, that that happens. I thought, you know, you see Sarenams and the Peruvians. Those seem, like, super clean right from get-go. You know what I mean? It doesn't look like the pattern is saturated. She had, like, a super saturated... It, it, pat, her pattern was super saturated with just busy shit going on. You know, she wasn't very clean looking and she's getting wicked. She's starting to clean right up. And she's starting to... She, and she is a good girl, but she is fucking strong already. This girl's going to be a beast, and she's going to definitely be an armful, I can tell. She's going to be an armful. Love that tail. Love that to you. What's happening, number three? Glad you could join us. This is Raven, my Guyana. Appreciate you stopping by this morning. Hey, Mandy, what's happening? You had a Guyana? No shit. That's awesome. She's a pretty girl. I love this girl. She's an act. She's actually wild caught. You can hear me, but you can't chat. I see it. I see you chatting now. Oh, I got you. You're busy. You got shit going on so you can watch, but you can't chat. That's all good. Fuck, appreciate you hanging out. Ah, your phone's playing tricks on you. Yeah, well, it might not necessarily be a phone, too, Mandy, because we've had that. That's been happening a lot. We actually had Heather came on one morning, and she could see me, but she couldn't hear me. But she could still chat. And then she had another time that she could see me, hear me, but it wouldn't let her chat. So it might not necessarily be on your end. It might be actually fa uh, Facebook. It might actually be YouTube. 
Come on, you girl. Sorry, I'm just putting her away. Put her back. She's being good, but I like to keep her being good. She she probably is my biggest snake, actually. Longest. You talking longest, Mandy, or are you talking heaviest? Because honestly, she's probably my biggest girl. And she's probably... She's my longest. She's probably, she might not be my heaviest boa. I just fed Roxy last night my Doomerals, but I'll open my, I'll open my Doomerals tub up and show you. She's, she's not, do my Dumo's bow is nowhere near as big as her. Yeah, this is probably my longest girl right here. But heaviest snake would be my Dumo's bow. Whoops, sorry girl, I didn't mean to do that. This is probably my heavy, this is my heaviest snake. But she's probably, I don't know, six to six to ten inches shorter than Raven, this girl up here. So, but that girl just ate last night, so I'm not going to mess with her. I like to give my boas at least three days before I mess with them. The boas seem to digest food a little bit slower. You want to see this? My smallest baby, my smallest snake. Mandy might not even be here anymore. Who is it? You is it me, Dale, and Mandy now? Oh. My phone might be acting up again. You want to see my smallest snake? Well, that's awesome. Well, that's too bad. How long did she have the snake before it uh, bit her? I haven't been bit by any of my boa constrictors. No. I did get recently bit by a snake I took in, but he was in food mode. It wasn't it wasn't a you know, it wasn't him having an attitude or, or anything like that. He was just really in food mode and I saw it when I took him out and I was holding on to him and he just I don't he my granddaughter doesn't have a lot of hair on her arms, so I don't think he was used to that. And when he felt the hair on my arms and him being in food mode, he instantly latched onto my hand. About six foot, no shit. Yeah, that would suck. I hope to never get bit by my boas, honestly. I don't want to be bit by any of my snakes. Been, it's been five years since I have been bit last. You know, the last time I got bit was five years ago, fucking babies, when I first got, you know, ball pythons. And they it was just a defensive thing. It wasn't that they were mean or anything like that. They were just scared. They weren't used to being held, you know. And Feisty came right out of it. That's why I named her Feisty. The girl up, the girl here, because fucking in the beginning, she she was really, really shy. Oh, fuck, yeah. Yeah, here in P, how about, how about the hiss that comes out of a six-foot snake? You know, the, the, the amount of sound that comes out of a snake, even, even Raven. When I first got Raven, she was under four feet. 
But she was the first snake I ever heard hiss. I had 30-something fucking snakes and never heard a snake hiss before. Nothing. And then we got Raven, and the first three times I took her out, she fucking hissed like you wouldn't believe. I mean, literally made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. It was like five times worse than the fucking scariest fucking horror fucking film. I mean, literally. Oh, yeah. Big shit. I get, I get snakes now that shit as big as my dog. <laughs> Not my boas necessarily, but some of my fucking, some of my big ball pythons, you know, are on the largest, you know, adult ball pythons. Because let's be real, ball pythons really don't get that big. You know, they're not a big snake. You know, I got a, I got a, what? 11 year old female here. I just had her out earlier, so I'll just take her out real quick. This is one of my biggest bow, ball pythons. She's like 11, going on 12 this year. You know, and she's, she's one of my biggest ball pythons. But she's, you know, she's not that big. These ball pythons are very manageable snakes. You know, yes, they are strong, but they're not boa strong. I guarantee you, Raven at her size, that's a she, that's Cleopatra. Yes, and the smell is horrible. You're absolutely right. This is my second... Biggest girl right here, bowl wrapping. Whoops, sorry. I'm trying. This girl, she's long. She's longer than Cleopatra, and because, believe it or not, because she's longer, she she weighs about what Cleopatra the normal does. Yeah, I have a parrot. I have a Senegal parrot. I have a bearded dragon, we have two leopard geckos, and I have a savannah monitor, and I have a king corso dog, and I have 36 snakes. What do you got for pets? You got any pets, Mandy, since you're asking me questions? I got one for you. What do you got for pets? And kids don't count. Let's get that real. <laughs> uh, yeah, not not really. You know, I work from home, so I, you know, I have, I love animals. I f truly love animals. I don't really like people. You know, and I know everybody says that, but I really don't like people. You know, people just disappoint you. You know, they're disappointing. So what do you got for animals, Mandy? I'll, I'm curious. Like I said, our kids don't count. You have a staffy dog. A minith bird and tropical fish. What is a minith bird? What is a minith bird? What kind of, what is that? I, I know what a, that's cool about your staffy dog, but I know what a staffy dog is, and the, I know, tr you know, tropical fish, but I don't know what a um, mana bird is. What what kind of what's it like? Is it a big bird, small bird, you know, finch size, or my parrot's like the size of a conya, you know, she's just a little parrot. In the starling family. I got you. I know what a starling is. I know what starlings are. Gotcha. That's cool. Does it do anything cool? You know? Sometimes we have birds that do some really cool shit. My bird talks a little bit, but it's more... A lot, a lot of her talking is like a mimic whistle. You know, her mimic talking, but it's... It's really kind of a whistle. You know, she says pretty bird, pretty fucking plain. And she says I love you 
pretty plain, but then she'll also do like a whistle, I love you mimic kind of talk. Yes. That they are that a a black bird loves football, no shit. <laughs> loves football. That is cool. Baby boa. Do you see her reaction? No. I'm very proud of fucking the relationship I have with all my snakes. I really am. Yeah, that's what I thought. They got the red eyes. Does does it have red eyes? Or are they just kind of black eyes? Yeah, they kind of look like a crow. Like a small, small, small crow. Ah, oh, they don't have red eyes. That's cool. Oh, yellowish. No shit. That's cool. Hi, pretty girl. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're going to give me nose bops? You see her tail? See how orange that is? And the rest of her really isn't orange. That fucking tail is amazing. She just shed a couple days ago. Do I take my snakes out, show them to kids, etc.? My my grandkids, I have uh, five grandkids. So my grandkids get to see them. But no, I don't do like school shows and functions like that. You know, I, I'm not, I'm okay for my grandkids. You know, to, I, I I don't mind being around my grandkids and I can be myself around my grandkids. You know, I've, I've got a really bad mouth. And same mouth that my kids grew up with, you know. But my kids grew up that, hey, I'm an adult and what I do reflects on me, not on you. And you're not going to swear, even though I know it sounds stupid, but that's part of being an adult. I've... I'm allowed to do that kind of thing. So, but I have a hard time when I get excited, I swear a lot. So I wouldn't necessarily be the greatest person to sit in front of a bunch of kids. You know, even though I would have good intentions, my mouth would end up ruining anything that I could pos possibly put out there positive. I would ruin it real quick. <laughs> you know, Oh, my grandkids love the fucking snakes. I, I mean, my youngest grandkid fucking... My granddaughter was, has been holding snakes since she was three years old. And she's six now. So, and my other granddaughter is has been holding snakes since I've had them. And I've had snakes for five years now. So, my oldest granddaughter, which is 12... She's been holding snakes for five years now. So all my grandkids love snakes. You know, my my oldest daughter likes snakes, likes holding them and all that. But my my youngest granddaughter that's that was been holding them since she was four, that's six now. She her mother doesn't want to hold snakes. She doesn't mind them, but she doesn't want to touch them. You know, but she still doesn't mind them though. My son that grew up, you know, with, with a father that hated snakes because I just thought they were mean and vicious and they just hate us and they're just going to bite the shit out of us because that's the one, the way the wild ones are at here, 
you know, and, uh, but my son has three snakes now. He got two from dad and then he, he took in a rescue. Yeah, I pay close to 300 bucks every couple months. You know, and that's just for my snakes. That's not what we spend on the leopard that goes and my, you know, Savannah monitor, you know, bearded dragon and my parrot and my dog. Yeah, we got a pretty good food bill. My, my cane corso eats as much food as my pit bull and my American bulldog used to eat together. He eats that by himself now. Fucking, and we buy him good dog food. It, you know, I think we pay like close to 80 bucks for, for his dog food that only lasts like three weeks. But all our kids are, are adults and, gr and grown and out of the house and starting on with their own, you know, their own families now. So, you know, I, it still costs me less than having three kids living with me, you know. So that's the way I look at it. It still costs me less than if I had all my kids living with me still. My name is Brent, or oh, Scooby-Doo. <laughs> you can call me whatever you want. I answer the asshole, dickhead. <laughs> uh, I answer pretty much to anything. So you can call me whatever you want. <laughs> You've been here more than three times now. You can call me whatever you want. But it is nice being able to... When people actually have their name, Brandon did, did no, Brent, B-R-E-N-T, Brent. This girl's such a sweetheart. I've had her about a, about a year now. Nope, oh, it's all good. Like I said, you can call me whatever you want. I answer pretty much to anything. My buddy Dale's in here this morning, too. We got somebody that's been in here since I turned the camera on this morning, but they haven't said anything. Dale Dale's at work, so he chats when he can. And if somebody says something to him, and nobody's really said anything, so... But Dale's here. You can say hi to Dale. I guarantee if you say hi to him, he'll say hi back. Everybody he is really cool, Mandy. Mandy? Yes, Mandy. Everybody he is really cool. See, Dale's saying hi. All right, we'll see you later, Mandy. Have a good day. How long I been on? I've been on an hour. Well, maybe I'll stay on. Hey, appreciate you coming by, Mandy. Maybe I'll stay on another hour and then I'll probably get off for today. We're not hitting no numbers now. No, that's cool. I appreciate it. I appreciate you being here and hanging out. Pretty much everybody here, everybody here is for the same reason. Everybody here loves snakes. You know what I mean? I do, we, I do a lot of random whatever. We talk about whatever anybody wants to talk about. You know, it, it's not always snake related. And that's probably why this channel isn't going to be that big. Which is fine. You know, I want people to feel comfortable. Fucking with everybody here that if something good is happening in everybody in somebody's life, fucking they can share it here. And if something's bad, fucking let everybody here support you. You know, that's what we do here. That's what this channel's about. Not just animals and snakes. It's about, you know, finding the right people that all click, you know. There's no hate here. There's no drama here at all, ever. You know, it's it's normally fucking really cool and chill here.
I don't normally click with too many people, but I I click with everybody that's here. But have a good day and have a good rest of the week, Mandy. And we'll see you the next time you've got time to hang out. Hmm. Now what? Looks like they could be getting the tails, could be getting the tails like they're getting ready to line up together. We're headed in the right direction. Hopefully with a fucking snake erection. Or erections. One friggin' snake I can't get to swap over a fucking frozen thought. Uh, it's a fucking bummer, dude. It is a bummer. I've tried everything. I think I'm gonna start trying to fucking. Normally, I've been just throwing the live rat in there and then letting her grab it. I'm fucking thinking maybe this next time I'm gonna try holding on to it with tongs. And maybe I can get her to fucking take it from the tongs the live. And then maybe the next time when I go to offer a frozen thawed from the tongs, she'll just associate it with, you know, I'm going to try that. That's my fucking newest thing that I came up with to try to fucking possibly, you know, get myself in a situation where she might possibly fucking take it. You know, when I was sitting there and, and holding off feeding her and still offering a frozen thawed, she acted a couple times like she wanted to fucking take it, but then just not fucking, and just not take it. So, I'm hoping maybe if I, like I said, maybe if, I mean, it, it might be stupid for me to even fucking think that that would fucking work, but. At this point, I, you know, I'm trying everything that I can think of and what other people have fucking done to get them to swap over. And I'm just thinking maybe fucking by holding it by the tail fucking in tongs, the live, will, will, you know, maybe it will just seem natural to take from tongs, you know. Because normally I don't use the tongs to fucking give her. And I haven't been using the tongs. I've tried using the tongs like on the back of them to try to make it look like it's crawling around in the fucking tub on its own. Not, you know, not hanging onto it by the tail, but like the back of the fucking head or middle of the bat trying to make it look like it's alive. And that hasn't worked. I've tried just dropping it fucking and, and leaving it in the air and that didn't work. And I've tried, you know, fucking thawing them out with fucking, you know, not with live rats, obviously, but I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to do, but I'm going to fucking try that. I'm going to buy a live again this Sunday if she doesn't fucking eat by this Sunday again. Which, it's only been a couple weeks since she ate, so it's not like it's been a long time. Plus, she ate two fucking meals, too. The last time she ate, I fed her, and then she, I waited for her to pee, and then I fucking gave her the second fucking, uh, 
live rat. So she's, it's not like she's starving or anything. But I'm going to fucking try to feed her another time between now and Sunday. And if she doesn't eat, which I'm pretty sure she's not going to. Then I'm going to go get fucking two more live. And I'm going to fucking offer them to her from the fucking tongs. And see if I can convince her maybe possibly to take from the tongs the frozen thawed. No, I do. They're exactly the same size. I mean, and honestly, the shit that I've been feeding her is just slightly smaller than the live rats that I've been giving her. You know what I mean? They've been the same size to slightly smaller than the live rats. You know, in a fucking, in the last two times that I went there, they actually had bigger rats than I wanted, and she fucking pounded them. You know? And they weren't, like, huge for her, but they were bigger than I would normally fucking feed a snake. You know what I mean? But I didn't have much choice. It was either fucking pick those ones up for her or fucking, you know, hope in another week that they had something that I could feed her. You know, they sell out a lot because they got a lot of fucking... They've actually got the most snakes I've ever seen at fucking that pet store now. You know, and they're going through a lot of their own fucking supply. You know what I'm saying? Fucking before it wasn't so bad because they only had like a couple snakes. Now they got like 15. You know, so, and I'm pretty sure they feed nothing but live. Yeah, no, but when it comes to trying to swap them over, I always end up trying to give them, you know... The exact same size as the body of the snake or slightly smaller when it comes to try to change them over. You know what I mean? Try to try to fucking not disencourage them fucking right off the bat by giving them fucking something that they automatically think's too big. But yes, I I get what you're saying. But I I try to give like smaller to the same size. And like you said, the last two fucking live rats that I gave her, because I always, they, there's always one smaller rat than the other, and I normally give the fucking biggest rat first. Because it takes three days, and those baby rats grow wicked in three days. So by the time fucking the three days is up, and she's peed, digested, that fucking smallest rat is the same size or slightly larger than the fucking rat I just fed her. You know, and she has absolutely no problem crushing them. She loves, you know, she acts like she enjoys it. Because she doesn't fuck around. You know, I throw a rat in there and she comes right out. It's like she knows it's in there. She comes right out and she grabs it right off the bat. And wraps it. She, you know, she's good at wrapping it and killing it. But fucking little bitch doesn't need to kill them. They're already dead. Fuck you, she'd eat the ones that I got for her. But I'm going to try everything. It sucks, but it doesn't surprise me that fucking, you know, she's my best snake that I have, and it, does, it doesn't surprise me that she is my fucking biggest pain in the ass. You know, fucking everything else is, is perfect, fucking other than she fucking eats live. You know, I couldn't be happier because I got what I wanted to get, out of, uh, you know, out of that clutch. But what the fuck, man? <laughs> and I don't know if I get another, if if I get another female, you know, out of this next clutch, I might fucking sell her just because she's on live and. I don't really want to deal with it. But I don't want to get rid of her either, though. I hate fucking the thought of getting rid of her. Oh, I she, she'd kill him and then not eat him. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah, I, I wish she would at least do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I wish she would at least grab him, even if she didn't. One live snake sucks, I am sure. Oh, it does. It does suck, dude. And the fucking goddamn... I bought three live rats the last time. One of them died. It was weird, too. Fucking, like, I don't know. 
I don't know if the if the two rats that were left after I fed off the first one, I don't know if they fought. To me, it looked I thought they were playing, but I, but I woke up one morning, got ready to go feed the fucking last rat to her, and it was dead, and it was like stuck to the fucking to the tank. You know what I mean? And I will admit, I didn't see it out running around the day before like normal, and it didn't run around a lot. I just see it out every once in a while during the day, you know, and that was it. Fucking, and then that, mo then that night, normally at night we see them quite a bit. They'll be in fucking running around in that fucking glass enclosure. Well, I didn't see her that night, but I thought nothing of it. I go, ah, oh, fucking, she's she going to come out after we go to sleep. Because they don't always run around when we're up, out and, and doing shit in the living room with, with them right there on that shelf. You know, so I thought nothing of it, but then that fucking morning, I go wake up and I got a, I fucking, it's like, not like dried on stuck, it was like slimy stuck. And I looked at it and it already fucking started stinking too, so it was weird. So I don't know if it had something wrong with it and I'm glad I didn't feed it to my snake. Or I don't know what the fuck happened to that rat though. It was fucking weird. You know? So, I, I, I'm assuming they must have, it, it must have been fighting. They weren't playing. They must have been fighting when I thought the rats were playing and one rat fucking killed the other. Oh, really? Well... I was hearing quite, quite a lot of fucking noise, honestly. But I just assumed they were playing. But they, but one of them that looked like it was fucking getting tossed around pretty good was fucking in there, you know, like squawking and squeaking and and all that. But I just thought that it was playing because fucking the other rats, fuck, because that's the norm for me. I buy three at a time. You know, I feed the biggest one off out of the three right off the bat, fucking, so that way the other ones, you know what I mean? And then I'll, when the time comes and, and I, the, the fucking snake fucking goes in, uh, digest, pees, then I throw the second, you know, largest one in, and then fucking leave the smallest one in there for fucking after it digests again, so that way I can pound the food to it. So that I can try to fucking go and get it to fucking eat frozen thawed. But I did make the bitch go two fucking months. Two fucking months and she still wouldn't eat. But that's when she got to the point where she was acting like she was kind of interested. Yeah, I don't know. They they got these out in the back room. They've got all like their pet rats out on display, you know, and or the ones for sale, the pet rats for sale are out, you know, in the store under in display. But when I go and get feeders, they always go in the back room to fucking and bring them out and oh, is this right? Because I tell them I want wean rats. You know, small rats. And these people don't even freaking know what the fuck that is. So they go, well, how big? And I have to fucking hold my hand up and go this big. And they go, well, does it matter how long they are? I go, no. It matters how big around the rat is. I said, so he, he pulled me out three that are close to this size and we're good. You know, and I, they end up normally having to go in, back in, in and out like three fucking times before they bring me the right size. Yes, they go, oh, how long? How long do you want? I go, it, I don't fucking care how long it is. Yeah, you know, I go by the size of the fucking, how big the fucking round the snake is. You know, fucking, so if you got one that's six inches long, but it's this big around, I'll take it. Oh, fucking, you know, no, if it's 10 inches long and it's this big around, no, I don't want it. But, you know, 
<laughs> I don't know. It, it was just fucking stupid to even hear. Well, how long? How long? How long? That ain't even fucking something that anybody talks about in snake talk when it comes to food. We only tell you how big around. But normally you just tell them what, what size. Wean rat, small rat, medium rat. Fucking, there's no fucking, you know, oh, well, how big around is that? <laughs> Look, if you're selling food, you should fucking know about that food. But you know what? There are a lot of, there's a, happy dragon's back. Ha <laughs> ha, you did come back. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. You missed it. We had another person in here that hasn't been here a whole lot. They were in for a little while. <laughs> yeah, but I only want to be this big around. <laughs> you know? I don't know. It's just, I mean, but that's the thing. There are a lot of snake people out there that have no clue. And it's not necessarily their fault. It's because... A place like that, that doesn't even know rat sizes and all that. These same people are selling the fucking snakes that have no idea how to keep them. You know, they're all on Aspen. You can tell it's dry as a fucking bone. Most of them have stuck sheds if they're in shed fucking at the time. <laughs> Little rat shaped like a tube, exactly. I want I want a rat this long, but the size of a shoppy. Yeah, good morning. We got another one in here. Just want to make everybody feel welcome. That's all. We don't know who you are, so you don't have to jump out. Uh, yeah, we were just talking about Siri. What's up, dude? You need this T-shirt. My, my daughter made me this shirt. That's why I wear it a lot. I, 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 you know, my kids get me stuff. I try to use it. I try to, you know, I try to make sure they get to see me in it or, or use of it, you know, depending on what it is. I should put it as merch. Actually, I've got, I've already got ideas on shirts. So, some of the, the girls in here want me to come up with a shirt that says Brent's Bitches on the, on the back. Bows and balls and fucking Brent's Bitches. And then we also got, they also want shirts that says uh, Bows and Balls. And on the back it says fucking... Welcome to the fucking welcome, welcome bitches or something like that. They want me to have bitches on my shirt, fucking somehow. Because in the very beginning, that's what I was fucking saying. Because when I was being nice, when people pop in on the lives, I go, when I see the number, the counter go up, I'd say, "Oh, how you doing? How's it going?" And I'd be nice, you know, trying to. Fucking make people feel welcome and, you know, let everybody know that we're not just a bunch of scumbags in here. Fucking everybody's really cool and, you know, no drama. And as soon as I'd say hi and acknowledge that they were in here, they'd fucking disappear. Like, like everybody can see right into their house what they're doing, you know. So then it got to a point that it started getting irritating. So I just started going, welcome, bitches. And fucking the people that were in my life thought that was hilarious. And then we ended up fucking because I'd, I'd welcome them like that. The fuckers were staying. You know what I mean? Being nice didn't do anything. But when I go, oh, welcome, bitches, for some reason they'd stay. So for the first, I don't know, two weeks, I guess, that I started doing these lives, I was that's how I was welcoming people. I was going welcome bitches, and that's when they decided, hey, we should make sure you should make shirts up that say that. Welcome bitches. Welcome bitches to fucking boas and balls or something like that. Evie will have to come in because Evie Evie came up with a good slogan. I just can't remember what it was because we came up with so many of them. 
But I am eventually going to have shirts, but we're going to have good shirts. We're not going to have none of this printed shit. I'm going to have embroidered shirts. I, I want people to be able to wear them multiple times. Like, my daughter did a good job on this. She actually made this shirt. And I, I've had this shirt since Christ last spring, middle of last summer. She gave me this shirt. And it's held up really well because I wear it at least once a week. <laughs> yeah, you can. And everybody here loves it. You ain't gonna offend anybody that's fucking been here. You know, and obviously you can see there ain't shit for fucking people in here now. Normally we have anywhere from eight to nine people sometimes in here. That's a good that's a good live. You know, but Normally, it's probably five, you know, four to six people we get in here, you know, on norm. Oh, that's what you do on your channel? You say, hey, everybody, I'm going to start saying, hey, bitches. I'm telling you, do you, does the same thing happen to you when you when you acknowledge that somebody else shows up? Fucking, you say, you, you, you try to be nice and welcoming and fucking they take off, but then when you act like an asshole and go fuck you welcome the, for some reason they stay it's like why in the fuck would anybody stay from being talked to like that as opposed to oh in the beginning of your videos <laughs> i get you i get you happy dragon really do you do you schedule it ahead of time because that will help. I always schedule mine a couple hours before I plan on going up. Well, let me know when you do your first live and I'll come join it. We'll make sure somebody shows up, Happy Dragon. Yeah. No, I hear you. Well... I'm not going to be working so much, but I'm going to stop playing because it's fucking good weather's coming. Yes, definitely let me know. And if you let me know ahead of time, I can let everybody know here. And that's what we did for Skeeter. You know, Skeeter needed some, needed some subscribers to get enough to fucking even shoot alive. And we made it happen for him. And then, uh, uh, Casey... Mystic Mountain Morse, he was like four to five subscribers from being having 50, 50 followers or 50 subscribers. And we managed to get him enough subscribers when he popped in here and said that. And I got everybody to fucking subscribe to him that weren't. And we got him to where he could start shooting live. So everybody here is pretty cool. And I'm here. I'll help anybody any way I can. You know? So, I absolutely have no problem fucking, you know, helping other people's channels. Nah, I don't fucking... I, I, I'm an asshole, but my, you know, people that I like, I do help. You know, I don't... No, I don't like everybody, and I don't fucking think we're supposed to fucking like everybody. You know? I have people that I click with, and when I click with somebody, fucking, I'm more than willing to help out, you know, and, but yes, the people I don't click with, I don't even want to fucking associate with, I don't even care to say hi when I see them in a store, you know, I just soon fucking totally ignore those people, you know, and the people I click with, I'm going to put everything into that, you know, yeah, we're always going to get disappointed still, but. You know, because there's still going to be those people out there that we thought a lot of, that we find out that are fucking nearly is, nearly the people that we fucking think they are. How are you doing, Sari? I don't fucking want to make you feel left out, buddy. How's it going? Did you, did you have, enjoy your eclipse yesterday? No, no, you're right, Dale. I, I don't. I honestly don't fucking... I don't feel bad when I dislike somebody. I don't feel bad when somebody dislikes me. I'm not for fucking everybody. You know? And I'm gonna be me no matter who the fuck I'm around. 
And that's also why a lot of people don't like me because I'm the same fucking person all the time. An asshole. <laughs> but I'm, I'm consistent. You know, I'm one of those consistent friends that everybody knows I'm an asshole. You either really like me or you absolutely fucking hate me. My wife told me yesterday, which I honestly never fucking, I didn't think my wife actually thought of me that way. But my wife told me last night that I'm batshit crazy. And she meant it. You know? Because my daughter went back to this guy that likes to put his fucking hands on her. And when I found out last night, I fucking flipped out and I fucking sent my daughter a message and said, fucking, he best not be fucking, you best not be with him right now. Because it was only a month ago she had fucking bruises all over her from him. And dad come fucking, I'm stepdad, but dad fucking drove right over to her fucking house and guess who the fuck was gone because he knew I was fucking coming. And I weren't going there to talk to him. Fucking, and I don't want to talk to him now. I fucking want to fucking put my fucking hands on him like he fucking thinks it's all right to fucking do to fucking women. Well, it ain't. I don't give a fuck if you're my daughter or not, but you best be fucking prepared that I fucking told her. I said, I'm telling you right now, if he will get dealt with, it's the next fucking time I see him, I said, he's going down. Promise you. Fucking, I don't play that fucking game. You know, and now, because my daughter's all upset, you know, but this is not the first fucking boyfriend that she's had that's put his fucking hands on her. You know, it's getting to be a fucking goddamn fucking pattern, and it's really starting to piss me the fuck off. You know, she actually had a couple kids with the fucking last one, and this one's fucking related to the last one. So it's fucking all really messed up. And fucking her mother is fucking, my wife is livid. All right, Happy Dragon, thank you for fucking showing up. Make sure you send me a message before, when you go live. I'll make sure that I show up and I'll try to bring some people with me. But have a great day. Have a great week. If I don't hear from you. Stay safe. Oh, I know. I, oh, absolutely. You know, I don't mind being the bad guy. I was ready to go right over the yesterday. But then I was like, you know, before the first time it happened and she calls me up. Well, she called her mother. You know, because I was sitting right beside her mother. And she called her mother and said, fucking some shit was going down. Fucking can you come to the house? And then finally, she, my wife got out of what was going on, and I fucking started throwing my boots on, and my wife's like, oh, no, I'm, I'll go, and I'll take care of it. And I'm like, I'm not fucking sending you over to deal with a guy that obviously has no problem putting his fucking hands on women, you know? So I fucking threw my shit right on, and fucking, and I messaged him and fucking let him know, I'm on my way, motherfucker. You know, and I'm not coming to talk. But that was then. We got called, asked for help. There are ball crippers you can buy. I don't know what. The, oh, ball crippers. <laughs> oh, trust me, I don't need to fucking buy anything. But anyway, but this time she. Asked him to come back. And there's nothing going on right now. So I could tell the wife. Because I put my fucking boots on. And fucking throw my coat on. And I'm getting ready to walk out the fucking door. And then it dawned on me. I go well look. It's not the same as before. Not as far as the fucking law is going to look at it. They're, I'm going to be the bad guy because my daughter is going to say, we're trying to work things out and she's going to make it fucking, it's going to make it look like I'm the complete fucking asshole. They're not going to give a fuck about, oh, that it happened before. They're just going to be like, oh, well, she wants things to work out. And now I'm going to go to fucking jail and 
everybody's going to assume I'm just the fucking crazy stepfather that wigged out on this guy that my daughter's trying to have a relationship with. You know what I mean? And I'm like, I'm not, I have no problem going to jail fucking and having, you know, people know that it's because the dude put his hands on my daughter. You know? And she's got, my grandkids live there. My whole fucking thing is she's teaching these, my grandkids, which she's got a boy and a girl, and they're 11 and 12 years old. She's teaching them that it's all right fucking for a guy to put hands on a woman or, or you know, the daughter. It's, it's acceptable for fucking some guy to fucking put his hands on you. You know, and I don't give a fuck if a girl kicks you in the fucking balls. You have no right to ball that fucking hand up and do jack shit. The only fucking thing I feel you have the right to do is to restrain them and keep them from fucking bodily harming you. But that's it. That means restrain. And that's just what restrain means. Is you grab a hold of the hands, maybe fucking, you know, hold them down on the ground till you can get somebody else to fucking... You know, manage them for you or whatever, but I fucking, as far as fucking physically fucking hitting or hurting a girl is bullshit. I don't give a fuck what she does. Unless she's got a gun in her hand or a fucking knife and she's gonna like kill you or something. You know, but a fucking broad sitting there doing this to you and you're gonna fucking ball your hand up and think you're gonna fucking strike a fucking girl? You ain't doing it in front of me because I don't give a fuck who you are. If you're a big motherfucker, I'll just look for something to fucking, you know, to help me fucking take you down. You know, I don't give a fuck. Because I've been in jail. Jail ain't nothing. No. Jail ain't fucking nothing. Prison ain't fucking nothing. I've been in both. I've been in county, I've been in county jail, and I've been in main state prison. So, if I could go into jail, fuck, I have no problem going to jail for the right reasons. And sticking up for my daughter is a good reason. But my daughter right now is getting her head that fucking she wants this guy fucking. And all I'm gonna end up doing is being the fucking asshole to my grandkids are gonna because they grandkids like him. You know, like I said, he's fucking related to him. He's like their fucking cousin. You know? Because <laughs> their father w is related to the guy she's dating now. Which he was like a cousin to, or an uncle or fucking some stupid shit to their father. So th they're still fucking related. You know? Uh, but, yeah... So, that's was on top of the whole eclipse last night. Fucking dealing with that. But. No, all, all I'm going to do is just wait and wait for the call that something's up and that she fucking... Needs us to go over there, and I'm gonna go screaming over there again, and he'll be fucking gone, and then she's just gonna take him back, fucking, you know, two weeks, three weeks later, because our daughter always does the easy. She's she likes doing what's easiest, you know. She's not like the rest of our kids. She's the one that wants the easy way out, and and even when she knows that that's not necessary, the fucking what she should be doing. But it's easier. No. And we didn't raise her that way. But she's our oldest. She's like 32. Or going to be 32. Oh, I absolutely feel the same way. I my my fucking animals are the same I fucking feel the same way about my animals as I do about my kids and we've already talked to his parents. We fucking talked to him, you know, 
talk to his parents the the last time this happened and literally we told them you know because they're grandparents too they're the actual parents of the father that you know of of our grandkids which is also related to this fucking cat mark that lives with these these fucking of the father's parents and he's like 30 something too he's not some kid but he got dishonorable discharge from the fucking military because his fucking elevator don't go all the way up. He's weird. You know, he's very social, social awkward. Like, fucking, I told my wife, fuck it, I go, he, he could be the next serial killer. You know, he's that weird. And he acts, he, his mentality acts like fucking he's the same age as her 11 year old son. He into the same shit her 11-year-old son is, and and it's just like, I don't know. I'm fucking sick of the whole fucking thing. I really am. This girl is swollen, dude. This is a girl that I fucking said that I wonder if she retained sperm, because she is... She's fucking super thick, and I haven't been fucking feeding her about every fucking every two weeks because I haven't paid her in two years, <laughs> or over a year. It's been like a year and a half, but I paid her with two with two to three different males, and I'm pretty sure she locked with my pinstripe. She locked with Captain my black pewter, and she also locked with my. Hey, what's up, Casey? She also locked with my banana genetic stripe, you know, over a year ago. Oh, about a year and a half ago. How's it going, Casey? I watched a couple of your shorts, and obviously I liked them. I watched your Randy Macho Man Savage fucking show up you did. And I watched a you know, couple of your smolten. Smelt smolten? Smolten, I think it's smolten. A couple of your smolten videos. Uh show ups. Dale's waving, saying good morning, Casey. Or well, close to good afternoon, I guess. I was going to go stick her back, but she ain't even been out that long. Any bit of pain, but I'll be all right. What's, why? What's, what's up, Casey? What'd you do? Oh, you look, you, you looked at the eclipse? You, you stayed at the eclipse too long? You're in you're in a lot of pain because you had to carry that great big generator to your neighbors because the power went out and all that fucking bad shit they told us to worry about fucking was didn't happen. Oh, you had your surgery. Oh no shit. Ouch. I did not know that, buddy. Jesus Christ, fucking that doesn't sound good. What would you what'd you do to what 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 did what created you needing that surgery? Uh, you know what I'm saying. What what caused you needing that needing that surgery, Casey? I'm fucking just I'm curious. Cause that doesn't sound like a very good fucking Prometheus disease. Now what kind of fucking what is that? Is that a uh, is it a cancer? I don't know what that is either. I'm fucking dumb. You gotta, you gotta talk to me like I'm 12 years old when it comes to fucking medical shit. Dale, you know what Prometheus disease is? I can't look it up either. It's not that I'm lazy, but I can't look it up because I'm using my phone. It's super rare. It kills the hip joint socket and the pelvis. My fucking wife... Did it make your fucking uh, hip uh, 
pop in and out? What were your symptoms that you had that made you go fucking go to the doctor? Because my wife's fucking hip's been popping in and out for about a fucking year. It does? Fuck, that ain't what's going on. My, my wife's fucking hip's been bothering her bad for about a year. But now it's constantly popping in and out on her. You know, literally I can watch her walk around and I can tell when she's uncomfortable just by the way she's walking. Is there any other signs, Casey? What 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 were some other things besides your hip popping in and out that that did you have any other discomfort? I'm really wondering because now I'm worried that fucking maybe that's what's going on with my wife. But she's also old. She's three years. She's only three years younger than I am. So it's it could be. Ah, no shit. I'm sorry to hear that, buddy. Is this this surgery going to fix it, or is it just going to make it so it's better? You know, I know how I know how it goes, like back surgery. You know, back surgery doesn't ever fucking take all the pain away. It just makes it better than before. Well, I hope this is going to make it. Uh, hopefully this takes care of it. I don't think it will be Prometheus. It usually affects kids through so it's just making it. Yeah, no, it's probably fucking hip. Just it's probably hip replacement fucking for my wife. I hope not. But the worst part about it is now her other hip starting to bother her because she's been making up for the fucking the of making up for her bad hip. It's made her good hip start fucking hurting. So, I don't I don't know what to fuck. Casey, did you hit the like button for me, buddy? Appreciate it. See if we can get one more likes, one more like than we have people in here. Thank you, Casey. Appreciate it. Who else we got in here still? Oh, Dale, Casey, and we've got somebody that has it. Oh, thank you for the fucking other like. Appreciate it. Yes. But the worst part about my fucking, my wife won't. She, she'll be to the point where she fucking can't walk before she'll fucking have anything done. And you know as well as I do, that's not, that's like, the worst thing you can do, because fucking if she goes and has it operated on now, as opposed to fucking wait until she can't move, fucking, it's going to heal way faster, you know, and it probably wouldn't be that extensive of a fucking surgery, you know, right now, as compared to fucking when she can't walk. Hello, good afternoon. Is it? It must be afternoon by now. It's got to be close. Thank you for popping in, even though you probably won't stay. It's all good. We don't mind. We we like to pop ins and outs too. But we prefer if you say hello first. And whoever just came in, if you haven't hit that like button for me, if you would, appreciate it. It's fine. You don't want to say hello. You can at least hit the like button for us. This is Sunny. She is a lavender albino. And that's just it. She's just a lavender albino. That's the only thing this girl is. See, she needs to poop. You can fucking tell. She <laughs> this girl needs to poop. She, she'll probably poop her next shed. She is so pretty, though. She really is. See that fucking purples? That lavender? 
she got nice highlighted yellows on the bottom of her. Oh, there we go. See, see how much lighter the, the brighter the yellows are towards the bottom of her pattern. Heck, I've had both knees replaced, hip replaced, and this is a cakewalk. Yeah, well, depends on what age you have shit done to, Siri. I had back surgery fucking, what, 15 years ago, 12 years ago now. And uh, I bounced straight back from my back surgery. I was in good health. I was in wicked good shape. I built homes and, you know, and if you build homes, you know, you, you fucking lug in all that fucking material that built them fucking, that built that home. So I was in, ex I was in wicked good shape other than I fucking fucked my back up. And then I had surgery. I went a whole year fucking literally fucking in tears that night because I couldn't get comfortable. You know, fucking get comfortable for about five seconds and then the pain would come back. Adjust, fucking be fine for about 10 seconds and then fucking the pain would come back. And it just was excruciating. And I'm not, I don't take pills. I'm not, I, I don't take pills for pain or anything like that. So I went a whole year like that. And then finally I started losing feeling in my right leg. And then I couldn't climb stairs because I lost a feel. I lost all the strength and feeling in my right leg. And then they decided they need to do surgery on me. And I bounced straight back. Christ, I went to physical therapy and they were asking me to do shit. And I fucking, they go, oh, try to do three of these. And I'd whip out like 20 of them. And then they'd, oh, can you do sit-ups? And I go, fuck yeah. And they go, oh, just do one for me. And I'd fucking whip out like 20. Fuck it, you know what I mean? They all like fucking, they were all like, oh my God, I can't believe you're fucking doing this shit already. I go, fuck, that ain't nothing. I moved house. Fucking, we completely moved. Just me and my wife, fucking, a week after I had back surgery. And me and my wife lugged everything. I fucking, two nights after I fucking had back surgery, I was out fucking snow blowing my yard. The only thing that, that scared me about that is I was afraid that I'd fucking slip. And I'd, and I'd fucking really fuck myself up. So... I hung right on to that snowblower good fucking but I was out snowblowing. Nobody else is going to do it for me. But, yeah, wife and I moved fucking a week, week and a half after I got back surgery. Fucking, I had back surgery two days before Christmas. Fucking, uh, it, was, it, was fuck, it was fucked up, but. I bounced straight back. And I've had plenty of people in my family had back surgery and laid up for fucking months and, and all that. And I felt fucking amazing. I felt like a brand new fucking person again. I was doing everything that I could, that I was doing before. But 12, 15 years later, now my back hurts. I get back pain down in my lower back and it travels up to the fucking middle of my back and it's all due to fucking my lower back because I popped my back out again fucking last year putting my fucking long johns on fucking sticking my fucking foot through the leg hole and when when I stuck it through and when I straightened my leg out I felt my back pop fucking and my back's been fucked up since but not like it was when I needed surgery you know, it doesn't hurt while I'm standing up. It's only when I sit down and then it, it goes shot pain from my lower back and it starts creeping right up my, right up my back to the point where I thought I had fucking pancreatic cancer, but come find out it's just whatever the fuck's going on in my lower back. I got a bone or something sticking out too. My wife fucking can feel it. It's swollen, and she said that she can feel what feels like a bone sticking out of my lower back. Yeah, that's not too bad. They they claimed eight-week recovery on my back, and Christ fucking... I was done way before that. But I was, I was fucking 12, you know, 12, 15 years younger, too. Fucking, I was, I was in my 30s. I think I was 35, actually. 35, 36. You know, so I bounce back really good, but I guarantee if I do a back surgery now, I'm not going to bounce back as, as good as I did when I was 15 years younger. 
And, and after my back surgery, I that's when I pretty much started working for myself and working from home. I haven't fucking actually had a real legitimate job in fucking 50. This girl is wrapping me right up. I got you anyway. Come on, girl. It's not real easy to unwrap these guys sometimes. Sometimes they fight you pretty hard unwrapping them. Come on, girl. Jeez. There we go. Yes. That's a, that's a beast. She needs to poop. See that? <laughs> Get in here. So you don't poop on dad. Dad doesn't want no poops. <sighs> but I hope your fucking surgery goes well. Oh, absolutely. I'm 51 myself. Just turned 51 in January. So, I know all about it, dude. And cuz like I said, I fucking I built houses up to fucking just before my surgery. You know, that's the job that I was doing fucking when I got hurt and then I had back surgery and I haven't had like a legitimate job since because I can't rely on my back. In my whole life, that's all I've done is rely on my back. My back is what made me all my money. You know, I didn't do it with my brains. My, I, everything I earned, I earned with my back. And once I had back surgery and I felt wonderful, you know, I did go back and do construction for a little bit. But then I, I was a handyman for like... 53 fucking apartment units. I was the only guy that took care of all those units. and But that was the, the extent of my construction, you know, after that. I was doing plumbing and, you know, your small little fucking, you know, fix-ups, set of steps, stairs, you know, s small shit. No, I wasn't even building decks at that point in time. It was just these small jobs that I could go in, take great care of, and they didn't have to send a construction crew over. You know, but then I did that for about a year, and then I got into the the weed business, and I got my fucking script, and I got fucking legal to grow pot, and that's what I did for Christ, twelve years. That's what I was doing up to when I started doing snakes. I was still growing pot, fucking honestly. I had a nice little grow going on, but then everybody and their brother starts fucking growing it, and then the dispensaries are selling it for 100 to $50 an ounce, and I can't even pay for my light bill at fucking what the dispensaries are selling it for. So I closed up. I stopped growing. You know, I just grow for me and my wife so we don't have to buy it for the year. You know, now, and uh, selling some snakes on the side, you know, that's basically all I'm doing now, and I enjoy my summers. I ride my Harley almost every day. If it's nice out, I'm out on my bike in the summertime, you know. In the wintertime, I'm home. That's why I shoot videos, you know. It's still cold, kind of cold here, you know, snow... We, we still got a little snow on the ground that probably be gone after today. But next two days is going to be like 46, 45 degrees during, for the high of the day. So it's still not real nice. So I got time still to, to shoot videos and, and do all that shit. I want to go make a coffee. And I'll I'll be right back though. I would take my camera in the other room, but I got the radio playing. And as soon as it this fucking YouTube picks up any fucking music whatsoever, they're gonna copyright it. So I'm just gonna leave the camera here. But I'll be right back. It's just a crew egg coffee, so it's not like I gotta brew a whole pot.
All right, here we go. Everybody having a better day? Yes, I'm. I'm. When it came to my bat, Casey, they told me that I was better off either laying completely flat. But this is my back. Your fucking hip's gonna be different than fucking what they probably told me for my back. But doctor told me that not to sit down. Like, be, hey, what's up, Tiana? Because you're gonna show up fucking 15 minutes before I'm going off. But hey, you showed up. Appreciate it. Did you enjoy your eclipse? Dale's giving you a, a high. Danielle didn't show up today. Danielle was here yesterday. Talked to Julia this morning. Tiana, Julia lost her mom like two days ago. I pretty much fucking, it was pretty close to total here yesterday too. I looked real quick. Plus, I had it on, I did a live yesterday, and I took my camera and went outside and showed everybody fucking what it looked like here. You know, it was, west, it was messed up, too, because there's no windows in here, or at least the window that's in here is blocked off. I, it's, I, I've seen Eclipse before. They weren't total, but. I've seen Eclipse before, so it was really not a big deal for me. Yeah, it is rough. She she's, sounds pretty good, though. I talked to her this morning. She called me, and we talked for about a half an hour this morning. So, But she's doing all right. She's in the process of moving, though. She's going to move. and So she's she's got a rough road ahead for a little bit. She, I guess her brother was coming over today and they were going to go through pitches, you know, do, doing all that stuff that, you know, it's, it's kind of nice sometimes to see, see, you know, see that kind of stuff, but it also brings back a lot of memories. Yeah, she seems like she's doing all right. She said that it was pretty rough for a couple days, but, you know, but... I guess it was it was pretty rough on her mom too. So it it's actually it gave her peace of mind too that her mom's not hurt anymore, you know, hurting and struggling and all that. So you know, sometimes that's all we have is that we know that they're not in pain anymore. As much as we miss having them, it's better that they're not in pain. You you know what I'm saying? You know, I think I said it the way I meant it. A lot of times it's it's harder to see them in pain than it is to see them go. You know, and sometimes and when it my my stepfather was died from leukemia and fucking he died in fifty two days. He was climbing a mountain and he went and he climbs Mount Katahdin. It's not like fucking no big mountain or nothing. But he and his buddies every year guys that he went to school with and he was like 52 and guys he went to school with fucking they would climb the mountain fucking mount katahdin in different areas because there's different trails you could take to to go up to the top of mount katahdin and they'd go and they'd camp and they'd they'd walk they'd fucking hike the the trails at mount katahdin well this last last time he went two days after he got home he came down what he thought was just a really bad cold and a week later he was fucking so sick that he called my mother which they're not they're not married haven't been married for years but they still you know close and all that well he called my mother up 
He told my mother he needed her to bring him to the hospital because he was that sick. He couldn't even drive himself. And he went in the hospital and we lost him in 52 days. He never came back out of the hospital. Ended up having leukemia. Fucking, that was pretty rough. And he, like I said, he was fucking young. He was 52. He was only a year older than I am. You know, but a stepfather. It's not like my, you know, he's my real father. I got fucking probably way worse shit fucking coming fucking. My real father, last time I knew two weeks ago, was sitting in the hospital and he's dying of cancer. He's got it in his brain and his throat, all through his body. He's got stage four cancer and he's not going to make it. But me and my father, my real father and I don't talk. We, we've we never had anything really to do with each other. So. It's sad, but that's about the extent of that, of that, that I feel. It's just sad. Sad to see anybody go through cancer. You know. But I've lost lots of people to fucking cancer, heart attacks. My, one of my grandfathers died of a heart attack. My uncle on that same side died of a heart attack. My grandfather on my mother's side fucking died of cancer. A cancer they, they, they didn't even have a name for it at the time. So... Yeah, me too. All my grandparents are gone too. Uh, my grandmothers, my grandfathers, my grandfathers all died years ago. I was like fucking, what, 14, 13, 14 years old. And my both my grandfathers, my, my other grandfather died around 50 years old on Thanksgiving in my father's arms, the one that's dying in the hospital, died in his arms at Thanksgiving, having Thanksgiving dinner. And then my other grandfather died at 52, fucking, like, what, four years, four or five years later, after my other grandfather passed. I was, like, I was, like, 17, I think, when my other grand, when my mother's father died. And then my grandmother on my father's side, she died. Christ, she's got to be dead probably 20 years now, you know. And my other grandmother just died like 10 years ago with Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, the forgetful disease. I still have my mother, but I honestly lost my mother when I was a kid. And I didn't lose her, she lost me. She was a shit fucking mother. And I still don't talk to my mother. I'm one of those that fucking can't stand my mother and I will never talk to her. Like, and there's just some things. And once you have kids, fucking, there are a lot of things that you realize, fucking, you know. I knew that it was wrong growing up, but once I had kids, I realized just how fucking wrong fucking my upbringing really was. All these fucking strange guys, you know, putting their fucking hands on me and beating me, not fucking like sexualized but i was getting beat up by all these fucking guys that weren't fucking nothing to me they were just screwing my mother at the time you know so and it, that's just shit you that's unforgivable as far as i'm concerned fucking especially for a mother you know i don't give a fuck out of the out of the two parents to me the mother is the one that's supposed to be protecting uh, the overprotective person when it comes to her kids. Fucking, you know, and my mother wasn't. My mother fucking could care less. She she cared more that she had boyfriends and shit. She didn't give a fuck about what, what how I was. Wow, well, wow. I did not know that deal. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Obviously, your mother must have been dealing with some pretty big demons in order for, for anybody, to, any mother to take their life when they have young kids. And I know 17 doesn't seem young, but I don't give a fuck. You're, at 17, you're still living at home. You know, I'm sorry I went through that, buddy. Yeah, well, 
I didn't actually beat my stepfather up, but once I once I turned 12, I realized, you know, and I had seen it. You you go visit and you hang out with uh, your friends. You see how their families act, you know what I mean? And you see how their parents act towards them. And honestly, fucking everybody that I went and saw, all their parents treated their fucking kids way better than I fucking ever did. I honestly felt fucking more like I was fucking in a foster home. Fucking seriously, fucking with my own mother. I felt like she was like a fucking foster parent. Fucking one that just was in it for what, you know, was in it so she could claim she was a mother. But you got to be a fucking actual good parent to be able to fucking claim being a parent. A bad parent isn't a parent. They're just a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> They're a piece of shit that just happened to fucking have kids. The, you know, doesn't make him a fucking good parent. And I did. I grew up fucking feeling like fucking I was living in a foster fucking home that with people that were strangers. I felt like I was a stranger in my own fucking family. But. I don't know. It's almost time for the wife to come home. So I'm probably going to go off here once the wife comes back. Oh, sorry you get in the doom and gloom on the end of this fucking live I didn't mean to depress anybody or bring bad memories up fucking this seems like shit just starting to pile on here that's all but as soon as I can get go for my first ride I'll, I'll come out of it. Apollo. Apollo, my uh, clown inchy. 100% hep for albino. And he's so pretty. He is a pretty boy. We got crazy eyes. You got awesome eyes. He's such a good boy to boot. Getting some size on him now. He's actually a little over a year old, year and a half old. Something like that. He, he great eater. Eat small rats. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? Plus, it's starting to get fucking warm in here again. It's a little more. He is pretty. It's a little better probably in this light. It's it's a little dark. But he seems to be showing up good. I look. You see, you want to see my studio? <laughs> I got two lights there and a light overhead. That's my studio. Welcome to my studio. <laughs> uh, fuck it. My my low budget studio. But it seems to be I totally agree with you, Tiana.
Hey, Tiana, did you hit the like button? If you, if you could, if you haven't, could you hit the like button? You might have already. If you did, I appreciate it. Sweet. Thank you. No, my wife should be home, eh, in it now. Oh, Dale might have left. Well, it might have been Casey. Yes, that is my bird whistling. <laughs> she fucking whistles and screeches the whole time I'm in the other room. Oh, no, Dale's still here. Now, oh, get inside your tub. There we go. There we go. We'll hit everybody here with a little fucking moisture. They all seem a little low. Well, we have a lock. That was quick, Dale. I just stuck Captain and fucking Leper together this morning when I started this live. You know, what, about a half an hour in? They're locked right now. So, Leper and Captain are locked right now. That's awesome. Yeah, and I took I took fucking Blaze out this morning because he didn't they didn't lock last night. be good for a little bit actually does it does it does it look too dark to you guys the way it is without that grow light on no not yet it'll be a while Tiana it doesn't it doesn't happen that fast even if I even if I hit it perfect and I threw a male in there it, it it still wouldn't hit this. It still wouldn't get eggs that quick. I would say even if I hit it perfect right now, it would be, it'd be at least two to three fucking months from now. Wouldn't you say, Dale, too? Fucking be at least two, three months from now. If I, that's if I fucking hit it perfect. And, you know, but most likely I'm not going to see any eggs probably till September, October. I would think, you know, it's, it takes a while. It takes a couple months just for them to, to build the eggs to where, you know, up to where they go and, and spit them out. So for, it, 
Okay, per if it was if I hit it perfect, it's like forty five days. But you that's you know hitting it perfect, and chances are, you know, you I'd have to have like a, a fucking what sonogram? Is it sonogram? Oh, uh, whatever the fuck they do for pregnant women, you know. If I had one of those, I could probably hit it closer to perfect. You know. Oh, that's awesome. Ultrasound. There you go. Yes, if I had an ultrasound <coughs> machine, I could get I could get a lot closer to perfect than I am right now. I watch for bowl wrapping and, and, you know, and then the females staying right on the cold side, you know, even after they eat, a lot of my females that if they're building follicles or whatever, a lot of times they'll stay right on the cold side still and uh, digest on the cold side. So, you know, but I'm far from fucking knowing what the fuck I'm doing, so... If I hit it, it's all out of luck as far as being close to perfect. But honestly, I'd say I'm probably a couple fucking months out myself. I was like fucking three months. I didn't fucking, I was pairing my first clutches, fucking my clowns. I think, I'm pretty sure I was pairing my clowns um, a couple months. And then it took a couple months fucking before I ended up getting eggs. You know, I don't think, I, I'm pretty sure I'm a few months out, you know. I <laughs> do. Yeah. Well, if I could pay for that ultrasound. But they do have some cheap ultrasounds. They're not all like stupid, crazy expensive from what I saw. They're, I've seen, but I'm also, you know, a little concerned about some of them cheaper machines and how actual good they are. You know what I mean? What you getting? You get, oh, you're, you're getting a rainbow? Aren't you getting a rainbow boa? I saw your ball python. When you when you're ready, Tiana, I'll sell your ball python, baby. No, oh, no, no. I get they're over a awesome, awesome. Hopefully, fucking you'll post pictures on your Facebook so we can see it. I'm not. I'm not either. I'm not. I mean, if I was big. You know what I mean? If I was a big fucking to-do and I was, like, really trying to be, you know, as professional as possible and all that, I'd, I'd see getting maybe an ultrasound, but I, it's really just, it's kind of fun. Yeah, you could. No, you could. I would imagine if it works on a snake, I would imagine that ultrasound work on anything. You could fucking do. You could fucking do women too. You could fucking do women too, Dale. You could fucking charge fucking women hundreds less. You know, you could do just gender reveals. <laughs> you know, two hundred bucks. Find out what your kid is. Well, dog breeders would pay. Oh, for, oh, I guarantee that. I bet a lot of fucking pregnant women would pay. <laughs> you know? You like to probe the women? I do, too. I thought I think that's what we're here for, is just probing. Probing and, and helping bring up kids. And helping the women move the couch when need be. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sure they'll, 
there there are probably women out there that like the probe. <laughs> you know what I mean? And more than others. I'm sure we're not the only ones that enjoy being the probe. I'm sure there's women out there that prefer the probe. Yeah, you can knock them up and then tell them what the what the kid's gonna be. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I fucking I want them fucking older than that now. Crazy, our oldest daughter's 32. Our youngest one's like fucking 27. Fucking. I almost feel they got to be older than my, my kids. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Again. It just, it's something, something fucking, anything younger than that just feels scumbaggy. When you got older kids, you know? I honestly, I wish more people fucking thought the way I do and felt the way that I do. And then we'd have a lot less pedophiles out there. You know, rule of thumb, they have to be older than your oldest kids. You know? Well, fuck it. Well, you just make that a law. You know? And if you don't have kids, well, then then they have to be older than your neighbor's oldest kid. <laughs> if you don't have kids, your close friend, whatever your closest friend's fucking oldest kid is, that's all fucking, you have to date older than that. Huh? <coughs> wow, my wife's late today. What time is it, Dale? Got to be 10 minutes of one, ain't it? Because I know it was almost like fucking, it was just about 12.30 fucking or after when I went and made coffee. 12.49, yeah, my wife's late. Thank you, Tiana. I appreciate it. I asked Dale because Dale's close up, so I figure Dale Dale's response is going to be faster. That, that's the only reason when it comes to asking time. Same thing like Evan. Evan fucking when Evan's in here, it seems like Evan is close too. Because when I ask Evan, it's like right off, and Evan answers so. I only normally ask the people that I figure I'll, that I'll get a response right back because there's still a wicked pause. Look at me over there. Watch how big. You see, I just turned the camera around. Watch how long it takes before that swings. See? See me going? I'm going to turn the camera around here in a second and... Once the camera turns around, I'm going to turn it around again back to me, and you can see how big of a fucking delay there is. Here we go. I think I'm going to change it. I'm going to turn it right here. Wow, that's a long delay. It's still going. Look. Holy shit. Well, that is, it's still going over there. Put it that way. I just turned the camera back around. You'll see how much of a fucking delay there is. I can't believe that. It is. It's a huge delay. I'm still over there talking. I haven't even turned the fucking camera around yet. It's like, yeah, it's like, this is the longest it's been. I just turned that camera around. Holy fuck. And I just sitting there, I was waiting because I thought it was, yeah, it is over a minute. It is over a minute. I couldn't believe, it. I'm sorry for making you fucking watch it for that long, but I wanted to show you guys how much of a delay there is. And that's why sometimes fucking, I don't know where the conversation is. 
You know what I mean? Because I'll say something a minute ago and in a minute's a long time. I could talk about fucking six other subjects in a minute. You know, and then when I get then when I get actual, you know, comments, I gotta go back and go, what the fuck is that pertaining to? You know, what the fuck are they commenting on? I gotta go back and think of what I fucking was talking about. And the fucking thing is still going. If you back out on TV, oh why? Is it is it less of a delay? That could be it. So you're saying the delay's not as long on your end? Well, I thought it was awful funny. Tiana fucking you know message right off and said, "Wow, that that is a long delay." And then she said, "That's uh, that's over a minute, quite a while ago." So, maybe, maybe it's, you're probably right, Dale. It's probably just a longer delay on my TV. But, Tiana says it was fucking over a minute on her end. Oh. Uh, the wife still ain't home. Oh, my wife's home now. It's not as long there. All right. Well, it did freeze up on my end, and maybe that's what the delay is, is however long it froze up on me for. But wife's home now, so I'm going to fucking go off, and uh, maybe I'll come back on tomorrow morning. So, if uh, you guys are around, I'll be back tomorrow. But... Have a great afternoon and a great night. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. I wait long enough so everybody can hear me and see my goodbye. I'll let her know you said hi. Have a great day, Tiana. You too, Dale. See ya.